Welcome to week five of the Tell MOOC. In week four, we asked you to create something called the Tell or the Technology Enabled Learning Plan or Activity Plan. We noticed that several people have questions about how or what they can create the Technology Enabled Learning Plan with. First off, we would direct you to the resources. If you click on the resources and go to the very bottom, you'll note that we provide you the resources for the Tell Activity Plan template, a Word document or an Open Office template that we'll take a look at in a moment. We also provide an exemplar or an example document, a Tell Activity Plan that you can use to see what we're talking about. When, we, when you do submit your Tell Activity Plan, we ask that you create one for your classroom. Please don't submit the one we've created as an exemplar because that's not the one that would be valuable for your classroom. So where do you go and submit it? Well, if you look under the course home, you'll go to week number four. And under week four, there's a bar that says assignment, tell activity plan, and you can submit it there. The bigger question that we have from people this last week is what do I put in this plan? Where do I get help for doing it? How do I figure out what kind of materials I'd be using for my classroom? Well, we direct you back to week number one of the course. In week number one, we introduce something called, we actually introduce two models called the TPAC and the TIM, or the Technology Integration Matrix. When we take a look at the TPAC, we want you to consider what technologies, what knowledge about teaching and pedagogy and activity, and what content overlap in the lesson that you're going to create. For example, if I wanted my students to learn about pyramids in Egypt and students to talk about it and share amongst each other, I might have an activity where I ask students to research Egypt or pyramids in Egypt. The technology that I need to know about as a teacher is about how to direct students to uh, research, for example, using an online um, search engine. The pedagogy, what kind of activities do I want the students to do? I want them to find, to share, to um, identify images and stories. And what content am I talking about? Well, Egypt, pyramids. So these are things you would want to consider as you're building your lesson plan. Or your activity plan. The next component is the TIM or the Technology Integration Matrix. The Technology Integration Matrix really provides us a way to look from simple to much more complex or much more sophisticated kinds of skills and activities that we would have students do. If we want them simply to be active, um, we might in fact have this set of activities. Conventional independent use of a tool, perhaps uh, some student choice and exploration, perhaps this matches an adaptation, an active adaptation of in resources off the internet that they then present about pyramids in Egypt. Perhaps I want them to collaborate or construct a pyramid, a replica of a pyramid in Egypt they would need to measure, to find, depends on what you want them to do. But this is how you would use this technology integration matrix to identify some things you would have technology support you as you do your learning. Finally, we want to show you what we mean when we talk about the technology enhanced learning plan. We ask that you put your name first and last, your course and grade number so that we know what context it's in and about the time and length of the activity. We're looking for an activity plan, not a month or a unit plan that may last several weeks. We're looking for one day, one hour, whatever your class is set up in. Describe what the students will do in the lesson summary. The student objectives to identify, for example, in the pyramids, three different types of pyramids found in Egypt. You, the resources, this is where in, you would list in the resources 
what technologies they use. They use the internet, they might have used a printer, they might have used a ruler to draw or construct the pyramids. They might have used a word processor or they might have used a digital camera to take a picture if they live in Egypt. Other things that you would talk about would be how the student and the, the teacher as well as the student present the kind of materials. And of course the intended curriculum. The instructional activities tends to be a description of what will you have students do and what will you do. And finally, the assessment. We know that sometimes these activities, tell activity plans, can be complex to build. And we would ask you to go to the forums where we know there's discussions that we're going to lead this next week in week five as you can complete the tell activity plans. We ask you to en engage in discussions with others about ideas they've done in their plans. We notice that some people have been asking about where can I find the exemplar? Where can I submit it? Well, those answers are covered in there as well as the very, very bottom of the course home. And that is the Tell Activity Plan Forum or Discussion Module at the very bottom. Information. So we hope you'll participate with your colleagues in the next week, in the forums, discuss and ask about the TEL activity plans. You have till December 3rd to submit them. Please do take the quizzes as many times as you like. Again, you have till December 3rd. At that time, we're finished the course. If you successfully complete a TEL activity plan, then you will be able to be eligible for a participate or certificate of completion. If you don't take the opportunity, you simply can still complete the quizzes and get a certificate of participation. If you're asking us about where will you find your marks, you will note that once we mark these tell activity plans, which are simply pass or fail, you either get the 100% or you don't. Um, that's just simply how we put it on there then um, if you do, it's either pass or fail. If you, for example, do not get 100%, you can resubmit it up till December 3rd. We hope this makes sense and helps you out while you build your TEL activity plans. We'll see you next week for one last video. Good luck on the TEL activity plan.